Greetings, greetings, fellow grade tens. It's Mr. Lajoy here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Look, what we are looking at now, uh, we are looking at your past paper, which is from uh, your, uh, I think this is the case at N Proven. This was written September 2023, right? Now, so here we are still looking at our statistics or our statistical reasoning. And then now we are trying to understand in terms of how can we then go about in solving these questions. Now let's start. They say that da uh, the data at a certain school for mathematic test uh, of uh, 50 mark are uh, given in a form of what? Of a box and whisker diagram. Okay. So now they say additional information uh, about the data is listed below, right? So the ad additional information, it's your minimum value, your upper quartile, your median, uh, your range, your interquartile range, uh, which is uh, also given in here. Now, they want us to find out what is going to be what the value of your A, your value of your D, and or, or value of your A, D, and C, I think, right? So the first thing that we can do now, if you can look at the value of your A, your value of your A here, I think it represents the minimum value, right? And now the value of your C, the C, it represents the median value, right? According to the box and whisker diagram, and the D represents your Q3, right? Your upper quartile. So now what is it then that we can do now to find out this, right? So we are going to say your A, Remember, your A is the minimum value. And what is the minimum value? You are already given here that the minimum value, it is 1, right? So uh, in a space for minimum value, you're going to write 1. Now, your C, your C, it's given by your what? Your median, right? And your median, you're already given here that it's 20. And your D, it's your upper quartile. And your upper quartile, it's given that it is 29. Okay. So basically, that's what you are going to have here. Now, uh, looking at 3.1.2, now they want us to determine what is going to be the value of your E. Now, uh, the value of your E represents the maximum value, right? This, it is your maximum value. And here, I think this is your Q1, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So how can we then uh, go about finding the, what, the E, which is the maximum value? The only thing that you are given here, uh, it's the what? It's the range. Oh, it's again. Uh, the only thing that you're given here, it's the range. And now when you look at the range, range, remember, it's given by what? Uh, range is given, uh, it's given by max subtract, uh, it's maximum value subtract your minimum value. Oh, it's okay. And therefore, what is going to be the maximum value in here? So in this case, you are not given the maximum value, which is what you're looking for, but you're given that the range is 38, right? So in a space for range, right, 38, this is going to be the maximum value that they are looking for. Subtract, what is the minimum value? The minimum value is 1, right? So which means then you are going to now transpose this one on this other side, which means your maximum value here is going to be same as 38 plus 1, which is going to be your 39. Okay, so the answer is going to be 39 for you. Uh, the answer is going to be 39 for your uh, maximum value, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Now, uh, now the same thing now. They want us to find out what is going to be your uh, your what, your value of your P. And now, uh, if you are looking at the value of your P, the value of your P gives you your what? It gives you your Q1, right? But here, what is it that you are having? You are having your interquartile range. And you remember that your interquartile range gives you your Q3, subtract your Q1. And this question here, they want us to find out what is going to what, what is going to be the value of our P. And P represents your Q1. So now, which means you are going to say where there is interquartal range, you're going to write 18 is equals to what is therefore going to be your Q3. And then now your Q3, your Q3 is going to be given by what? Uh, your your Q3 is your upper quartile, so it's going to be 29, subtract your Q1, which is what you're looking for, right? So then now we are going to uh, then swap, which means your Q1 is going to be same as 29, subtract 18, if I'm not mistaken, right? If you take the, the Q on this side, the 18 this other side, right? And when you're doing that, what is it that you're going to find here? You're going to find out that the value of your Q1 is going to be given by 11, right? So the value of your Q1 is going to be given by 11. Now, so let's look at uh, your 3.1.4. 
Now they say, uh, Lena said that the test was difficult. So do you agree with the statement? Use the above information to justify your answer, right? So now what is it then that you're going to do to justify your answer? Let's see. So now let's uh, let's make up our space here and see whether, uh, are they saying whatever that they are saying is going to be correct or what, right? So now, what is it that uh, you can see? So now from here, if you can check, now, in this case, the test was out of 50 and the median value is given by 20, right? And remember, median gives you 50% of the data. Can you see that one, right? So what does this mean now? So I, I will agree with them, right? Uh, yes, I will agree with them. And what stance uh, will I take now? Because now the average, oh, it's okay. Uh, now, which means now I am going to say, look, the average, the average, of the uh of the what of the learners right it's going to be given by what it's going to be given by 20 out of 50 right so which means now uh when you say 20 out of 50 multiply by 100 which is going to be 40 percent altogether so which means <clears throat> half of these data uh half of these learners got what half of these learners uh got uh what 40 percent and less out again and even the maximum value uh, even the maximum value, if you can look at it, the maximum value, it's only just given by what? The maximum value is given by what? It's given by 39. So not uh, much of these learners really did well when it comes to this particular test. Altogether. So I think on this one, I would agree that, you know, uh, this particular uh, test was, you know, a little bit not, you know, fair when it comes to these particular learners. Hopefully all of this makes sense. And thank you very much for listening.